How's it going, everybody? This is Ben Lewis from Arizona State University's Office of Entrepreneurship and Innovation here to talk about MIT App Inventor and creating multiple screens that share a little bit of information using Tiny Database. Uh, last time, things got cut off. I was having a real buggy time with the delay procedure we were trying to set up. I cut it. Try to figure out how to get it working. I'll put this back up some other time. Till then, I just took the sound out. It's fine. So um, if you remember, we have a Magic 8-Ball app. It may or may not be working right now because it's been a few minutes since I looked at it. I'm not sure if I will get back to you. That sounds like yes. I'm not sure if I will get back to you. I'm going to delay that sound. Just get rid of Not delay, but get rid of the sound. So this is what we've got. But what I would like to add is a second screen where people can share their question and their answer on their social media. Why? Because it's an interesting problem to solve, not because I think anyone would actually do it, or that the world needs a way to share Magic 8-Ball answers on social media without typing them immediately or something. Anyway, it's fine. Uh, we're going to do it because it's going to be fun and we're going to figure it out. So. Here we are again. We're getting back into our MIT App Inventor. All right, here we are. So um, I, what I don't see here is a lot of space, but I have a lot of space on my app. Um, the idea is we're going to add a second screen. I'm going to go ahead and do that now. You can see next to the Screen 1 button, you've got Add Screen. I'm going to say this right now. Uh, you cannot rename a screen, so choose wisely. Uh, I'm going to name this screen the share screen because uh, that makes sense. And things are happening. Everything's gone. Oh no, everything is gone. There is nothing left. And that's because MIT App Inventor teach it, uh, treats each screen like it's a completely separate thing. Uh, nothing from screen one works in screen two. Um, case in point, we did all this work to create a global variable named answer. And if we switch over to the share screen and try to pull that variable up, get variable named, it's not there. There are no variables on this screen. Global answer does, no, does not exist on this side of the app, which is a problem. We're going to figure that out. So let's go to share screen one. We are going to walk through how to get somebody to another screen, how to get information. Yeah, save the empty screen. How to get information to that screen from the first screen. And we're going to go over some other things like layout that we didn't cover the first time because it wasn't super important. So here we are. I'm going to. Give myself a little space here. The UI, MIT App Inventor, great job putting this stuff together, but uh, leaves a little bit to be desired. I'm going to change my height to something other than 75 so I can see uh, how things are going. And my app is not auto updating right now, which is worth mentioning. Uh, we're going to have to troubleshoot a little bit to get it to work. So um, here we are. We're on our screen. We shake it, they get an answer, which is really cool. Uh, it's the coolest thing I've ever done, but I wanted to be cooler, so now we're going to add this other screen, but we can't get there. And even if we could get there, nobody would know why they would even want to go to the other screen. So first, we're going to think through the user experience of, does anybody know there's a second screen? Would they want to go to it? Right now, the answer is no and no. Uh, but we're going to fix that. So I dropped another button in. I'm going to rename it my share button, sure, and I'm going to play around with it a little bit. I miss that orange color, bringing it back. I miss that white text, bringing it back. I miss that bold font, it's a little bigger, bringing it back. And I want the height of this thing or the width of this thing to be all the way across because I care. I'm um, about it that way. I miss my rounded corners, I'm setting up rounded corners. I miss that it says, uh, share your answers. 
share your answer online. Maybe people will get excited about that. Maybe they'll think, if I share my answer online, I'll meet people. And people are cool, and I want to know more people. So maybe if I click this button, I'll know more people, and that'll be cool. I don't know. But we're trying to give somebody a way to want to go to the next screen, right? Uh, connect. USB. You got it. You got it. Yes. All is well in the world. Da da. Sorry about these delays, but this is just kind of how it goes. I would edit them out, but it's already up on YouTube, just directly going up. So uh, share your answers online. I've got a button. When I press it, it goes dim, and that's kind of cool, uh, but it doesn't take me anywhere, which we ex we suspected it wouldn't take me anywhere. Um, I'm not sure, but I'll get back to you. Amen. Amen. I'll get back to you too. Okay, so we're gonna go to the block side and we're gonna pick our share button. And when we click the share button, we're gonna want some things to happen. Like, we're gonna go to this other screen. How do we do that? Huh. Well, there's not another screen up here because we're in screen one and screen two isn't in screen one. So we're gonna have to figure it out. Uh, ooh. How about this? Open another screen, screen name. I like it. One share, click. Open another screen, screen name. It's mad at us because we haven't named the screen name. But where do we even go to get the screen name to plug it in? We don't. We have to remember what we called it. Or if we can look up here, uh, share screen. But we have to hit it in manually. Uh, there's no way to select the screen that you want to go to. You have to say, Share screen. Now, this is going to cause a problem. Does anyone guess, can anyone guess why this is gonna cause a problem? So uh, this is what happened. Uh, I, I put this together, looks good. Open another screen name, that screen name is share screen. Uh, when I press the button on my app, which you can't see because we're gonna stay here for now, this happens. Invalid screen, runtime error, share screen, dismiss. Oof, that's scary. Here's the reason though. I did not use <clears throat> capital letters where I needed to use capital letters. So this is why naming things is very important. I like to do capital letters uh, at least on the second word. I do that anywhere else. Didn't do it on eight ball. Share screen. Okay. How about now? So now when I press the button, takes me somewhere. Takes me somewhere very empty though. So this is my share screen. There is nothing on the design side. There's nothing on the block side. If you could see my tablet, you would see that it was empty, very sad, very alone, but not to worry, to make it work. So uh, first, we should probably tell people what we're doing, so we're gonna do a label. Second, uh, we want to know what their question was, so they said it out loud. Sharing the answer without the questions, pretty boring. So we want them to be able to enter the question. So we're gonna put a text box in there. Um, we're gonna want to show their answer. So that's another label. Whoops, don't need you image. Delete, drag another label over. And we're gonna wanna do share buttons. Twitter. Facebook, Google Plus, because I know everybody uses Google Plus. Okay, it's a lot of stuff. Remember I always said naming stuff was important? This is why, button one, button two, button three, it's very confusing, I'm gonna name them. Label one, rename, uh, call to action. Okay, text box one, uh, rename, uh, question, all right because that's the question they're gonna put in. Um, rename, label two is the answer. Okay, and we're gonna name these twit. Twitter. Uh, 
don't know. I wouldn't let Twitter, but okay. Rename. Uh, face. Goog. We'll do Goog. And face. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. So for label one, we're going to say... Share your results below. Just type in your question and choose where. Oh, maybe we don't even need all that. Share your results below. I like it. Width. I want to go all the way across. Coo, 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 coo. Bold. I want it to be big. I want them to see it. You've been making an exciting color for once. Tired of your dark grays, Ben. Why don't we do blue? Ha 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 ha. Even my exciting question or color is not that exciting. 28. Ha 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 ha. Um, whatever. Uh, text the line. Center. Ha 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 ha. All right. Uh, so now I've on, I'm on the question box. We've got some interesting things going in here. We've got uh, font size. Sure, whatever. It doesn't really matter. They're going to plug something in. Uh, height, mm, automatic's good for me. Width, I do want to fill the parent because I care. I like it better that way. Hint, hints are cool. Hint is what shows up before they put text into the text box. So we can say, enter the question you asked here. Kaboom. Text, we don't want anything. Text align left, I like it. Text color black. And go gray. People know it's a text box. Uh, when you see a gray thing, you think maybe that's not there forever. It's kind of the standard, right? Text label number two. This was, let's say, answer. A N S W E R from other page. We want this to be big because it's what matters. Height. Let's do 100 pixels, man. We got space. Kapow. Look at that. Width. Bill Parent. Font. Bold. Text color. Red. Why? I can't tell you the answer. I don't know the answer. All right, now we've got Twit, Goog, and Face. What are we going to do here? Well, we can pick colors that are pretty close to the colors of the things. Like Twitter is probably a light blue. Um, text for button one would be lowercase t and with a white background. It's kind of their damn. Uh, color's off, but we'll fix it later. Rounded. Yes. And that's tiny. Let's make it bigger. Let's make it uh, 90 by 90 with big old bold font, 36. And I'm looking at my, I'm looking at my machine here. I'm looking at my uh, tablet the entire time to see that what I see on the screen makes sense with what I'm seeing down there. Okay, Google. Uh, Google should be G+, plus, should be bold, should be default color red, and it should have, whoops, that should be white text color. Background color should be red. We're going to round the edges on that as well and make it the same size. 90. Okay. Bye. 90. Okay. Make this like 46 maybe. G plus. Digging it, digging it, digging it. Okay. Last one. Face. Do this again. 90. Okay. 90. Okay. Don't have a lot of options, but we're doing what we can. It's not the right blue. It's close. It's going to work for now. Text for button three will be lowercase f. Background color will be white. We will do the same size and bold. Okay. Looks better, but we're kind of getting stuff off the screen. So, what do we do about that? Well, I promised layout, so I might as well tell you about layout. Layout allows you to put things in tables, horizontal, vertical, 
basically makes his, makes boxes inside this big old screen box that you can drop stuff into. So, so I'm gonna say horizontal arrangement because I want these buttons to run across the bottom of the screen. Now horizontal arrangement is pretty cool. You still have to set the width and the height. I'm gonna fill the parent on that width. I'm gonna drop stuff into it. But now that you're in here, if you select horizontal arrangement, you can say, I want everything to be centered. It wasn't an option before. That's cool. I want the background color to be nothing. Cool, cool, cool. Dropping stuff in, it's getting centered. How cool does this look? I like the red in the middle, right? Twitter, Google+, Facebook, we've got buttons. This is pretty sweet. Um, maybe, 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 maybe. Yep, that'll do. So here's the weird thing is we can't space anything. There's spaces here, but when I look at my screen, they're not spaced. How would we space? Well, kind of have to fake it. You have to drop something in there for spacing. It's not perfect, but it works. So whatever you want, I'm going to say label. I'm going to say space, rename, space one. Kind of like we're going to space, text color, nothing. Width, five pixels, okay. We'll have to do it again. This will be the name, space two, okay. Text color, none. Text, none. Width, pixels, five, okay. Now I've got some cool stuff going on. It's looking good, it's looking good, it's looking good. I could even show you if I wanted to. I could show you. Um, and I will. I will. I'm totally going to show you uh, right now. See what we got going on. So here we are. Welcome back. Uh, it's me again, Ben. Uh, this is what I've got going on here. And it looks kind of, uh, it's hard to see what's going on uh, color wise there. But you see, I've got those spaces in there. Um, if I got rid of the spaces, I would have something more like this, which I didn't want. And, oops, why'd everything die? Like this, which I didn't want. Uh, I wonder if I can control Z. I think the answer is no. No. So uh, I've got to put those labels in again if I want to use them. Uh, for now, it doesn't matter though, we're not gonna do it. Those labels are gone. That's just a way that you can space things. So um, what we're going to do though is uh, the last thing we're missing, the last thing we're missing, and I'm gonna let you see what I'm seeing again. Last thing we're missing is we can't get back to that home page to do another one. So we're gonna drop one more button in there. Uh, desktop, kapow, now you see what I see. Infinite mouse, 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 mouse. All right, so one more button's going in. Uh, oof, I don't want it to be all the way across. I just want it to be uh, in the middle, but I want it to be, to do that, I'm gonna have to do some sort of a arrangement box. So horizontal arrangement two, which I just dropped. I'm gonna fill the parent. I'm gonna align the center, and uh, I'm gonna make the background color go away. I don't like your background color. Why do you do that? Uh, this is gonna say get ask a new question and get a new answer. Height 50 for fun, just for fun. Just doing it for fun, doing it for fun. Width 200, no, 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 no. 150, okay. Uh, I like my rounded corners, going back to that. Making it bold, because I like bold. And I'm gonna make my tag wide. I'm gonna make my background dark gray. Light gray. All right, I'm just playing around. You know, we're having a good time, and that's the point. Let's have fun. 
Okay. Okay. Got everything we need visually for this screen. Uh, we don't have anything on the back side. And there's a problem. It doesn't have any of the information from the front, which we talked about earlier. So we're going to want to go back to screen one and add this thing called a tiny database, which is under storage. Tiny deba. I have to drag it here. Uh, so tiny deba and uh, tiny deba one. It's good. 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 So we've got tiny deba one. And this is a place where we can store stuff and pull stuff out of that isn't tied to a specific screen. So the thing that we want to save is the global answer, which changes a bunch, but uh, it doesn't change um, unless we shake the thing. And if we don't shake the thing between pressing the button and shaking the thing, then it, it'll go to the next page, which is cool. That'll work for us. Uh, so I, I got this call tinyDB1 store value tag value to store. So the tag is how you're going to tell it uh, what to pull out and what to save it as. So imagine you've got a, 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 a file on your computer, and it's a note to your teacher that says, uh, my homework is going to be uh, late. I don't know. I don't know what notes you save, but you're going to save it on your computer, and you're going to save it as note. Right? This is the same thing. The tag is what you would save it as. And then the value to store is what you are saving. So the note that says, hey, teacher, my homework's going to be late, is your value. And when you saved it as note, that's your tag. I'm going to save it as one, because we only really want to take one thing over to this other screen. And it's really easy to type one. The thing I want to save is the global variable. So get global variable. Global answer. Cool, 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 cool. So every time we shake, it saves a different global answer, and it always saves over the tag one. Which means, we go over to the back side, share screen, get back in our designer. We want to go get that tiny database. Get it. Drop it in. See if you got it. Can't do spaces. Back button. Kapow. Okay. Now we've got options. So something weird's happening here. We want to plug the information from that tiny database. We want to go get. Let's do it here. Let's do it. Tiny DB. We want to call. We want to get value with the tag. And if the value is not there, we have the opportunity to say something like, uh, the system seems to be broken, which is kind of ominous. Or we could say, do you remember to shake the eight ball? Because at this point, if there isn't anything saved there, it's because they never shook the tablet, right? Um, and the tag that we're going to get, anybody remember the name? Pretty easy. We're going to get one. Right, we've got this. Problem is, we want it to show up before anybody does anything. It just needs to be there when we start. Luckily, we can click on this share screen, get something that says, when share screen is opened or initialized, we want to do something. The something we want to do is change our answer set answer text. Wow. Wow. Why are you mad, bro? Says my companion app's not happy. But uh, maybe it's not happy because we didn't do anything on the other side. Who knows? We're not mad. We're going to keep going, see what happens when it's time to test. The other thing we want to do is we want to set up this button to be a back button. I named it back button. And do the same thing we did on the other side. Back button. When back button click, we would like to... Control. Open another screen name. What name? 
Screen name one. Screen one. There's a matchup there. Capital S. Mm. Wish I'd been able to rename that screen name so it was a little easier, but I can't without losing all my work. Well, I can. I can show you how to do that at the end. I will. All right. So now we have a back button. We have a screen initialize button. Let's go back to our share screen one, see what happens. Okay. Uh oh. Blank. What we're probably going to have to do is reset our connection. Doesn't seem to be working. And then reconnect on USB. Connect via USB cable. Does not see my device. Why are you so mad? Okay. So the thing that I like to do, if it's not working, plug it, plug it back in. My port's not great. How I live, live that life, you know, I live that mediocre port life. Ah. We are happening now. See that? But do you see that? I know. Pretty good, right? So ask the eight ball to get your answer. Ask a question and shake the eight ball to get your answer. I'm bad at reading. Reading comprehension. No bueno. Uh, OK. So first things first we could do is we could say forget to do that step. Takes us to the next screen. Takes a while. It's because it's running through the computer. It's a lot going through this cable. Uh, it's got to think through the cable. So, uh, hmm. we need to troubleshoot. We need to troubleshoot. Okay, it's not working. Maybe purple potatoes. Purple potatoes. That's that's spot on. But this isn't doing anything. Huh? Wonder why. One share. Click. Open another screen name. Share screen. That seems right. Everything seems right. Share. Eight ball. Okay, so if this is happening, which it will from time to time, what you're going to want to do is reset your connection because something has gone wrong. So we're going to show you how to do that. Again, connect. We will reset. If reset doesn't work, we will hard reset. But reset seems to be working. And we wait. Okay. It is still not working. But it's trying. It's trying. It's trying. It's trying. Okay. We went to another screen. I click the button. Should take me back to screen one. And it does it. Okay, so let's see that live. Live, 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 live. Okay, now here we are. Kapow! Press that button. It very slowly takes me to the other screen, which says purple potatoes, because that's what was on the screen before. But let's say I don't want it to say that. I didn't like that answer. I wanted it to be. Keep shutting it off. I don't even want to answer that question. Ask a better one. It's a good one. I'll share that one. Don't even want to answer that question. Ask a better one. Cool, 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 cool. So now I could even put in the question that I asked which I don't remember right now, but I could make it up. Um, 
Is the sky blue? Cool. Is the sky blue? You can't see that at all, can you? Maybe if we tilt it. Is the sky blue? Rad. Okay, doesn't do anything yet, but we're getting there. So, now we have things to do. We have buttons to press, like Twitter and Google and Facebook. But the thing that we did, what did I tell you I was going to help you do? I don't remember. Anyway, I'll watch it again, and I'll add it later. But uh, for now, we've successfully transferred information from screen one to screen two. We set up a back button. We used the organizational things, such as horizontal, so that we could put buttons next to each other and center things on the page. So I'd say we did a great job. Um, Sign in next time, and we will learn about colors. So that's it. We did it. Congratulations. Next time we learn about colors, for now, you guys are doing a great job. And uh, keep up the good work. Uh, this is Signing off.